Hey everybody, it's your boy Graphic back with another video and today we're going to be going over why some people are gold. Uh, we have a gold gameplay and we're going to go over it a little bit and kind of understand why some people are gold and some people, you know, got past that gold climb to uh, plat and diamond. So we're going to figure it out. Uh, this will apply to a lot of you guys that are either bronze and silver as well. Uh, I hope you guys like the video and learn a lot. Uh, we also have a giveaway going on in the Discord for 100 Rocket League keys. So if any of you guys are interested in getting some sick skins, make sure you guys go to join the Discord and try to sign up for that 100 Rocket League keys. And you're also able to get your replay reviewed uh, by going to the replay analysis channel in the uh, text chat in Discord. Uh, make sure you guys take the time to join the discord subscribe and I really appreciate all the feedback on these uh, replay analysis uh, replay reviews I should say um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's and I know I struggled for a little second or two uh, as I did have some roommates come in so thanks guys all right so we're gonna get started with game smasher 007 uh, his platform is steam he's a uh, gold rank and this is the 3v3 ranked playlist. So let's see. This is his average match, he says. So let's just see what happens. Uh, he starts off going boost. Uh, gets a decent save there. Put it to the side. Keeps it away from the goal. Um, he kind of backs up. Uh, goes front post. Tries to aerial. Uh, just a little mechanical mistake there. Couldn't get to it. Um, he missed that boost when it spawned, which is unfortunate. He circles back. Uh, this is all okay right now. Let's see if he cuts this off. Uh, he cut it off, hit it up high. Right here, I'd like to see you um, taking the time to press Y and change your view. Uh, this is a pretty decently long time to uh, go without looking at the ball. So right here, you have no idea where the ball is. You don't know if you're supposed to go left or right. So make sure you do this a little bit sooner. Um, because honestly, it could have been a pass up to you. Could the ball could have got loose and went up for a free goal, or you could have had to flip back instantly if it was you know heading to your net slow and you had a chance at it. So basically, just take the time to you know double tap that Y button if you're on the Xbox or the uh, triangle if you're on the PS4 and check back uh, to make sure the ball is nowhere uh, where you just need to go start rushing toward it. You know what I mean? So take the time to change your angle, look around at the ball. Um, just having awareness like that is very helpful. So right here, you have time to hit this ball. Um, I'm very curious to see what you'll do. As that guy in front of you kind of almost faked me. I thought he was going to hit it middle maybe. but um, that's So this is what we're going to look at here. You have time to do something with this ball, right? Like There's nobody in this area. East is in your way a little bit, but he's only in your way because you jumped. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, let's go to the what he goes soft attach you jumped really early here and you kind of hit the ball like maybe on the top half of it which is pretty useless um, you're gonna send that thing right straight down luckily you hit east and it kind of kept the ball in, on their side of the half so not a big problem there but uh, I would wait and hit the ball from the bottom next time or take control and see if you can get a good 50 on their side to get a pass uh, so here you're kind of waiting. This is good. You have some boost. Uh, just a late reaction there. Not nothing terrible. Um, you'll get faster reaction time the more you play. So that just comes with time. That was a pretty good clear. Um, let's see what happened here. Okay, so slow reaction time. You come for this back. Uh, now, what I'm curious about is right here. You got a good hit. It's just one guy left. Joel, some reason, uh, double committed with you there. He should have stayed in net. Um, and then there's really not much you can do uh, right there. That's just kind of lucky. I, I feel like your team should have been there or they should have been back in net for that save. But not a problem. Let's see what happens next. Uh, you got a guy not going for ball. Unfortunate. Um, you took boost. Go steal this guy's boost. So right here, this is called a little bit of awareness can um, starve the other team of their boost. So right here, you have 100, yes. But, okay, it's showing that boost is not there now on this replay. But the replays do glitch. So just know that this boost, mid-boost on the left side is up right here. 
and you see Dennett going for it, you have 100 boost, right? So you could easily use like, you know, 5, 10 of this and steal that boost from, from Dennick. And you're going to keep him at zero boost, flipping back uh, toward the ball, which is putting him in a terrible spot. A useless situation for him if you steal this boost. But let's see what happens here as the Vulcan does come to your side. And Dennick ends up bumping his teammate a little bit. Uh, you do a circle. This is a perfect chance for you right here. Okay, not not terrible. You kept it middle. Um, let's see what I, what you could have done differently though, because it did come at you pretty fast. So honestly, this is not an easy aerial for gold. Uh, gold gameplay. This is this is a pretty tough aerial. So the fact that you did get a little touch is fine. Not a big problem there. Uh, your teammate missed the 50 there. Um, your recovery was something. Let's look at this recovery. Okay, so you flipped off, which isn't bad. I don't know if you did that on purpose to mess around or you just didn't actually have control of rotating your car well. But obviously you don't want to land on your back like that and then have to flip over and then you could tell what it did there to you. you that guy should have scored. But if we go back and look, as soon as you did that, you started backing up as well because you were in an awkward front, uh, front post spot and you really weren't supposed to be there probably. You're supposed to be either on the ball or waiting, you know, middle of the post, uh, back in your net a little bit so you could hit this next hit. But this guy, this should have been a goal. Um, you were too far back because of the way you came back to the net. So that should have been a goal. Uh, you flipped, you kind of tried to get in the way, but no problem there. Uh, it's a good save right there. Good reaction time. Um, let's see. So this is yours. And now you see Joel right here. So I'm hoping you're either going to go for a pass or, yeah, I mean, really, pass is your best option here. Um, this is gold, though, so I don't really know the ability of these players. I haven't been to gold in a while. I haven't done many coaching uh, replays with gold. It's usually, you know, plat and higher or so. So honestly it's not a bad choice to just try to shoot this uh if you can see eltron's in a rough situation if you hit this in the back left side of that net you're probably gonna have a free shot so let's see here you can either pass or shoot really is gonna be a hard option um but as long as you don't hit it way left it's about the only way you can mess this one up so you hit it left it actually wasn't even bad either because east ended up being there but it wasn't um out of play left so it was fine um not the greatest decision or uh, hit, but not a problem. Um, you're heading back here. You're collecting small boosts. It looks like a pretty good amount. You did miss big boost there. Um, but you are collecting small boosts a lot more than I even see diamond players collect, so that's good. Uh, you rushed that aerial a little bit too fast, so just need to maintain a little bit more control um, and practice on mechanics a little bit. But here's your chance at a shot. Um, looks like your teammate... I mean, what a finish. What a finish. Let's take a look at this. Okay, so right here. I mean, this does look like your ball. You see nobody in your area, so I would 100% think this is your ball. Uh, Eltron went up really early for some reason. and you knew, I mean, I could tell he was going to miss. I don't know if you could tell by the way he went up. But uh, you can tell he's going to miss. He's, he's going one mile an hour straight up, and he's not even coming close, really. So you take your time here, and you don't fly right away. Honestly, you would have had a very good hit if ja, Joel wasn't up, but Joel was up, so it, you know it all became useless anyway. But you ended up having a nice follow with that little boost right there. I think you gave yourself a little bit better position on that ball and hit it in. I think you had it either way, but lucky and, lucky and good play. Uh, so you hit that thing right. Uh, you flipped the boost. I do want to see you. I mean, this is a really common mistake by a lot of people is their awareness is off. Look how long you take to look back at the ball after that. So it's already been about half a second. It's been in a good second or two here at this point. So it takes you about probably two seconds, probably two seconds to look back and see where the ball is. Uh, you just need to get in a habit to do that more often because your awareness is a little off. Um, and just by you know throwing on ball cam and off ball cam will get you that awareness up. So if you could take the time to do that, you're going to start playing a lot faster, most likely. You have more um, confidence if you know where everyone's at and know where the balls go into at all times. So uh, He hits this one on target. Um, pretty lucky save there. Um, 
It was a good attempt. That is a little bit more difficult of a uh, save than usual, so it's not a problem there. It was just a little mechanical mistake. You probably could have gotten it, but it was a difficult one. Um, you take boost on the side. This is fine to stay back here as you had two guys up in the kind of sitting together in the corner up there. Um, got a nice hit there. Close. It's a good save by that guy. Uh, he's coming in. It's a good hit. Good attempt at that. And there wasn't much for you there. Uh, you're looking for something. Yeah, rotating back is fine there. You had no chance once that ball rolled up the side. Now, you're doing circles. I don't know if you started noticing. You started just kind of going back and forth here for a while. So you did end up going back to the back post. But you should have done that a little bit earlier uh, as you were doing that for a while. Um, now you're heading back. Learning half flip here will help you a lot if you learn the mechanic of half flipping. Uh, you, you'd waste a lot of time right here because of not knowing how to half flip. So you actually land kind of awkwardly for a second and you was really slow and you had 100 boost. So if you learn how to half flip, um, it is very beneficial. That's a good shot. Let's see if you can get it. Uh, couldn't quite reach it. And then East misses as well. So that one's going in. Alright, so now you and Joel are both, all four of you guys went for the kickoff. This is gold, so I mean, whatever works, but you do want to make sure you're not uh, all four going for the kickoff. Somebody needs to call that off uh, with quick chat or just recognize that the other guy's going for it and give it up. Um, this is something that a lot happens a lot in threes, but you need to be careful. As you did like a somewhat half flip, your own little stylish half flip that isn't as effective or fast, but not a big problem yet. So you see East where he's at. He's kind of front post right now. He does back up a little bit, so it makes you kind of worried probably. But your role is to go back post here because he's already supposed to be front post. Once he sees you go back post, I'm sure he'll feel like he can challenge. But since you went front post, uh, you kind of cut rotation right there. So I'm going to show you what I mean. Make sure you understand what I'm saying. So you did your half flip. Another problem with your, your half flip that you do uh, to get back defense here is it rotates your car around so you kind of land on that side so it kind of made you feel forced probably to go there um, but let's go to fly real quick and I do struggle here at some time so we're gonna have to try to get there but let's just go like right here can we go off the ball actually let's see fly I have fly on and let's go none there we go okay so let's watch this right here um, so East is kind of rotating back. He, he has a kind of rough rotation, but you do see him right here turning around. So you could easily go behind him and you kind of cut in front of him, but he was kind of, uh, coming already from this right side. So it wasn't a big deal, but most of the time you're going to want to come back post, uh, right here. And East is going to be front post as that. That's really not a bad position for him to be in. Uh, but you just kind of cut right in front of him, and you hit that ball. So now he's kind of out of position, uh, waiting back, and this could be dangerous as you have Joel now pushing in too. This is low rank three, so the rotations are a little rough, but uh, just knowing and getting on uh, par with them by yourself, like you knowing what you need to do rotationally is so helpful for higher ranks once you get there, so. Uh, okay, so you're heading over here. You have zero boost. You need to be collecting some. Uh, it looks like you're just going for this 100. That's that's all right this time around. Um, East is not rotating back. You can tell your teammates are doing half rotations. There's about no rotations actually happening here. Uh, East just hit the ball, came right back around, and started chasing again. So you're just kind of chilling back, which is fine. Uh, that's a rough challenge. Uh, I feel like you could tell that they were going to get a hit here. Right here, I mean, you can tell Denik is hitting this ball. Uh, I've never seen somebody miss a ball like this because that literally is going to hit him even if he misses almost. So you know he's going to hit the ball. So you pushing up here and even, I think you even, yeah, you even jumped. 
there was no way you were going to have that. So you're just recognizing that the guy still has possession of the ball, still has a touch coming. Uh, so you don't get yourself way out of position like that. Uh, this could end up into a passing play the other team. Uh, luckily, they all miss, and you're kind of off to a fast break. That's a good middle ball there. Um, yeah, get out of there now because your teammate has possession. Uh, you want to make sure you hit that boost. Obviously, I'm assuming you were trying. Now, you kind of dodged two boosts there, and I don't actually know because I was... After the first one, I was like, ah, oh, you just missed, but you missed a second one, so I'm going to go back over it. Uh, this boost is up in the corner. Almost positive. Uh, it is replay, so I could be wrong, but if this boost is up in this corner over here, you need to be picking it up. Um, and then right here, you also dodged that boost, it looked like. And maybe you were letting Joel have it, but you really shouldn't have because... I mean, you're on. You're literally on pace to hit that boost, and you have zero. And yeah, that's your boost. So you you should be getting one of those two boosts. And if not, you should be collecting small pads on the way back because you need you need more than zero boost to do anything uh, to actually help your team most of the time. So you have 36 now, uh, and then right there is a time where you actually, uh, if any if any time is the wrong time to steal boost, you just did it because you just took a good 36. And Joel's coming back to this ball or back to this uh, side over here, and you just pick up all 100. And it's not a big deal most of the time. Like, I wouldn't be calling you out for that, but I'm just saying, in the case that you were trying to give Joel your boost last time, uh, it was probably the wrong thing to do uh, last time, and it was probably the f just okay to do it this time. So, you just got to recognize uh, you do need boost and you need to be aware of when they're going to spawn as big boosts take eight seconds to spawn and small boosts uh, take about uh, four seconds to spawn. So you just need to be aware that you have zero boost. You need to be picking some up. Uh, it's a good toss back and you kind of go into the back net here, which is fine. Uh, you're down too. So there's not much of a, a chance at that point. Um, Really, that does come down to a lot of, uh, this gameplay came down a lot uh, to mechanical mistakes to me and a little bit of rotational. I just feel like your reaction time um, and your awareness and your boost management were the three factors that kind of showed me that you were gold player this time around. So I, I think, honestly, if you even get one of those three up, um, you're going to start ranking up. You're going to start seeing progress. But right now with with all three of those being at uh, kind of a bare minimum, you're going to be sticking around in gold for a little bit longer. So you need to start working on uh, awareness. Just tap that Y button, check around, make sure nobody's around you, make sure the ball's not coming into your net or you don't have a free shot. Uh, while you're going for boost, it should be an easy, easy way to, you know, check. Uh, you need to make sure you're picking up boosts. You, you shouldn't ever be at zero for longer than a couple seconds. I mean, not even a couple seconds, really. But... Make sure you're picking up boosts uh, and your mechanics and kind of a, you know, uh, what do you call it, reaction time was kind of slow. So you need to make sure you uh, work on your mechanics a little bit. And I'm sure you are uh, just playing, giving t uh, the game some more of your time will do that. So, you know, you're on track. Just maybe work some more in trainings for the mechanics and reaction time sort of deal. But uh, Overall, it was actually pretty good gameplay. Uh, for a gold player, you're not bad at all. So I could see you ranking up here shortly. Just start working on some of those things, and I'll see you in plat.